My name is Rob Zuber, and I'm the Chief Technology Officer of CircleCI. Today I'm going to talk to you about three considerations for moving from a monolith to microservices. The three considerations are the maturity of your product, tooling and automation, and building incrementally. The first consideration is the maturity of your product. It's important to understand that moving from a monolith to microservices is the solution to some problems, but not all of the problems that you have. And in particular, you should be at a point in the life cycle of your product where you understand uh, who your customer is, how they're going to use the product, and you need to reach new scale, either in the organization, because you can separate teams of developers working on different pieces, or operationally, where you want to be able to scale different components of the architecture in different ways, as opposed to just scaling the single monolith by creating replicates of it. The second consideration is tooling. So once you've made the decision to move from a monolith to microservices, you start to solve some problems, which are around the scale of your organization and the ability to scale operationally, but you introduce new challenges, which are focused around operational management, and specifically, everything in your operational process needs to be automated, as the complexity um, and just sheer number of items in your system is growing. Um, and in order to support that and make it possible to grow the number of services effectively and manage that, you need a great set of tools surrounding it. The third consideration is building incrementally. So the transition from monoliths to microservices can be very complex and there's a lot to do and you want to take small pieces and test them as you go so that your development team and your operations team can become, become comfortable with the changes and work through any issues that arise uh, instead of trying to do that across multiple services at the same time. 